In this section of the video, I'd like to cover a few things. First of all, how to identify the new F1 Aura Plus. I'd like to tell you how to use easy mode. I'd like to show you how to get out of easy mode and go into performance mode. And vice versa, I'd like to tell you how to get out of performance mode and back into easy mode. And then finally, we're going to talk about factory resets. There are a couple ways that you can tell if your guitar comes with the new F1 Aura Plus. The first way is to take a look at the lens cap, which will say Aura with a plus sign. Another way is to hold in the F1 Aura Plus's volume knob, which activates the system. The first thing you'll see is an F, and then a 1, and then a plus sign. This ensures that you do have an F1 or a plus. So a third way of telling if your guitar is equipped with F1 or a plus is in easy mode, this knob acts as a tone control. Now, when your guitar is plugged in and you turn this tone knob, you will not see anything in the display. You'll simply hear some audio changes. Furthermore, with this particular tone knob, there's no stop. So just to clarify, if you turn all the way to the right, you're going to take that mid scoop contour all the way to the max. And if you turn it back to the left, you're going to take that tone scoop out and it's going to be totally flat. So uh, it's something that you'll hear when you're plugged in and playing with it. But it's another way of telling if you're in easy mode and you have an F1 or a plus. To show you some of the features on the F1 or a plus, the first thing we're going to want to do is plug the guitar into uh, your favorite acoustic amplifier. Before we do that though, you want to make sure you have a fresh 9 volt battery. Now, typically 9 volt batteries in this system last about 27 hours as long as this plug is engaged into the jack. So if you're not playing and you want to save some battery time, make sure you unplug this jack. The battery access is at the bottom of the instrument and you simply open the door and the battery pops out and you can put a new one in and that way you're ready to go. So to activate the system, we simply want to plug in this quarter inch jack and now we're ready to go. The guitar ships from the factory in easy mode. That is its default setting. The first thing you'll probably want to do is tune your guitar. In order to do that, you simply hold the volume knob until the tuner display illuminates. Once that illuminates, you can simply pluck a string and tune the guitar as needed until the green light is a solid green. While engaged in tuner mode, the output is muted. This way when you're on stage you can tune your guitar up and nobody will hear you. To get out of tuner mode you simply push the volume knob again. The volume knob itself works simply as a volume knob. All the way up to the right is full volume. All the way to the left is no volume. Another function of this knob is if you push it once, you'll see a plus sign. If you push it again, you'll see a minus sign. This is your phase control. If you do have uh, some feedback, you can try this first, plus or minus, to get your guitar in or out of phase with your amplifier. In easy mode, this left button is referred to as the tone knob or tone control. And this is only in easy mode. Once we enter into performance mode, it'll be referred to as the edit knob. But since we're in easy mode, if you just turn this, it will adjust the tone of your guitar like we discussed earlier, and you will not see anything come up in the display. The other function of the tone knob in easy mode is to move between three different pre-blended images. Now, we've selected the blend, so you don't have to worry about it. Basically, it's a blend between the undersaddle pickup and uh, one of three selected sound images uh, from this unit. To access those, you simply depress the tone knob and you'll see a one, a two, and a three. If you press it a fourth time, you'll see a P. The P means that it's total 100% pickup. There's no aura image added to it. So that's how easy it is to use easy mode. You get a volume. You get a tone control, you get a tuner, which mutes the output so you can tune it up on stage. You get three pre-selected, pre-blended images. If you don't want the image sound, you can go right to the P, which is a pickup, and it's just super easy to use.
Now I'd like to show you how to get out of easy mode and to go deeper into performance mode. To get out of easy mode and to get into performance mode, you take the quarter inch cable. Before you plug it in, you hold down the tone knob and then you plug, plug in the quarter inch jack and the display will come up with an R and then it'll turn to a P. As soon as it turns to a P, you then click on the volume knob and you'll see the P flash and then you leave go of the tone control. At this point, you are now in performance mode. If you're in performance mode and you want to go back to easy mode, it's basically the same process. Again, we're going to plug in the quarter inch cable, but before we do that, we're going to hold down on, in this case, the edit knob because we're in performance mode. We're going to plug in the cable. At this point, we're going to see an R again, and then we're going to wait till we see an I. Now that the I is up, you simply tap on the volume control, you'll see the I flash, and then you leave go of the edit knob. Now you're back in easy mode. Now I'd like to show you how to restore factory settings. Remember, we just covered how to go from easy mode to performance mode, and then from performance mode back to easy mode. To restore factory settings, it's a very similar process. The one thing I want you to keep in mind, though, is when you do a factory restore, not only will it default back to the easy mode, but any changes that you've made in performance mode will be erased and it'll be set back to flat like it came from the factory. So to do this, it's very simple. Again, we're going to hold down the tone or edit knob. We're going to plug the guitar in. At this point, you'll see an R on the display. Once you see the R, you want to tap on the volume knob. Now you will see the R flash. At this point, you know it's okay to let go of the tone or edit knob. Now you've just completed the factory restore settings. The real benefit of having Fishman's Aura technology built into your guitar is that it marries up the fine acoustic properties of the guitar with some world-class microphones. Thank you for taking a few minutes to understand how the new easy mode functions in the F1 Aura Plus.